tastes like cotton candy. Really? It does. It's like an afterpiece. Whoa. That is such a trip. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Good afternoon. We are at our, this has to be like, I think one of our favorite markets right now. And I wish it was a little closer. Yeah. We're in Corona right now and they don't have Winko in Riverside. I'd yes. be so happy if they had a Winko in Riverside so we don't have to shop at any other of the markets that are more expensive. We came here the first time like last month and we were so surprised at how much money we saved yeah. so i mean in the in the world right now in shambles we just want to put out this video for anyone that's you know, on a budget on a budget and struggling and they want yeah. to save money Which is pretty much everyone right <laughs> so we're here we're at winko we're going to take you around this awesome market yeah. show you what they have to offer if food for less and costco got together and had a baby I present to you Winko. <laughs> well, we'll call it the Costco, <laughs> the Costco of Food for Less. Yes. Because it kind of reminds me of Food for Less when you go in there. So yeah. come along and enjoy this trip. These are 58 cents and if you go to Ralph's, they're like, I think they're over 50, 50 cents. These are 48 cents, a little cheaper. They I bet you actually, I, I think they raised the price. They might have raised the price at Ralph's on those ones. They might be 75 cents now. Wow. Some sourdough. Little sourdough breads. something at Ralph's. Five something at yeah. Ralph's. Wow, five yeah. Three, it's like five or six bucks and yeah. over here it's three twenty-eight. We use that a lot. Beef sticks. Nine bucks. I'm gonna get them. Okay. Turkey burgers, six bucks. Smoked sausage, four bucks. Where's that one? Is it this is it this one? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. We get 14. Those are hot dogs. Come on now. <laughs> oh wow. Smoked sausage. I, I like how they say smoked sausage. Three bucks. Cheese. And you have Italian sausage right here. Pasta sauce, two bucks. We're in the produce section now. Are these grapes supposed to taste like cotton candy? It smells sweet. Really? Whoa. That does kind of smell like cotton candy. <laughs> Five bucks for these. Your apples right here, and these are the prices. Yeah, these are cheaper than a normal grocery store, I can I'm tell you, for you. sure. Wow. Vegan. Veggie, oh, yeah. veggie your, your plant based suction right here. I wouldn't really call it vegan, but it's um, more veggie. Yeah. What about all these? Udon! <gasps> they have udon here, guys. Look at this. It's look good. I might get some. Hmm. Hmm. Which one do what? Ooh, they have ramen one right there. Miso pork, hot and spicy flavor. Yeah. I want to try this one. Yeah, the full goes. Original flavor. Okay. You want? Cool. Yeah. Mango, mango. Mangoes are 78 cents. Two. Bananas, 63 cents. Pears, 
128. Strawberries are two dollars. Tomatoes on the vine. These are 68 cents a pound. Bush cucumbers. These are 68 cents. Who loves Calypso? I usually a don't dollar. Think that. Look how many they have here. You like wow. how they do that? You see where they it says at Stater Brothers it's a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. They okay. They compare. That's cool. I look over here at Walmart. It says right here at Walmart. These chips are three dollars. Dang, at Stater Brothers they're this. Yeah, you're saving two dollars over here. The Stater Brothers is expensive. Yeah, it is. Makes you want to buy some chips. It's in the know. it's in the skin, so usually that means this it's seasoned. This is sweet corn. This is forty-two cents each. Oh yeah, look at that. That was so good. I wish we had that at the LA Fair. <laughs> well, if you went to the other one on the second video, that's what it would have been like. Yeah. The other one over there, that was a ripoff. That was terrible. I but feel we're gonna bad. get some corn because yeah. yummy and it's 42 cents. There you have the Stater Brothers, it's 179. Walmart is 172. Over here it's 128 for your broccoli. Get that iron in. We're coming to our favorite section here. When we first saw this, I was like, what is going on here? Look, look at this. They have they have an assortment of all types of jelly beans, like juicy pear. Oh my gosh. Assorted my, one of my sour jelly belly. Popcorn. I mean, you can probably spend an hour here just looking at all sizzling cinnamon can i just start eating one of everything <laughs> or will they get mad gummy spicy mango gummy sour worms candy 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 crazy candy. all all types of your teeth. sour belts and gummy bears and cinnamon bears Oh yeah, those are good. Those are oh, good. Oh, you know what? I remember the chocolate covered ones. Are oh better. yeah, yeah. We had the chocolate, chocolate covered ones. That's where I'm going. Caramel apple pops. Where is it at? You have your oh, nuts here it is. right here. All of your nuts, any nut that you can imagine, you can get right here. I like nuts. <laughs> You oh, love oh, nuts? Oh, there, there it is. Mac macadamia nuts. Macadamia yeah. nuts. Most expensive nut here. Yeah. Oh, except for this one. Is oh, yeah. right on the, right behind it. Brazil nuts. These are really good for you. And then these are like your more chopped almonds, slivered. Fried root. You have your goji fried, berries fried right root. there. You have fried your dried fruit. fruit. It's not fried root. Fried root. <laughs> <laughs> Dried mango slices. Look, they, they even have dried kiwi. That's fried. Chili mango slices. Did you get this last time? No, but that's what we got at Costco. Wow. Go check out our Costco haul. Mango slices, pineapple. They have coconut strips here. Can we get to the chocolate already? Okay, okay. Dried <laughs> apple rings, those are good. They have peaches. I mean, you guys need to come dried and cherries. check this place out. Dried, Medjool dates. Dried cherries. Dried cherries. Here and we go. This is my here. section. This here is the chocolate section. I'm getting this one. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but these are bomb. Yeah, these are these are so good. The chocolate cinnamon bears, chocolate gum, gummy bears, chocolate peanuts, chocolate banana chips, chocolate orange sticks. Oh my gosh. What? So you get your little tag from your bag, and on the thing here, they have pins on all of them. And you write the number down, so they can charge you. 
And I know there's people out there that like to write the wrong number and see like, oh, it's cheaper. Mm. I don't, I wouldn't do that. Chili lemon pistachios. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm messing with my mic, Pecan praline, oh my God, chop that up and put that in yogurt or oatmeal or Looks like everybody cream. likes it. That's the number one thing missing. Yeah. Here's all your uh, spiced up nuts oh, and uh, yeah. corn nuts. Chili lime. Mm. What are these? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Corn nuggets. Habanero. It's making my mouth water. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is seeds. I never knew there was so many types of flour. Yeah, you can, you can make almost seeds. any seed and grain into a flour. Cake flour, wheat flour, unbleached flour. You said you wanted flaxseed? Rye flour, yeah, I want flaxseed. Which um, one? <laughs> Which one do you want? Oh, I know, flaxseed meal. Man, they don't have the heart of flaxseed anymore, that sucks. Oh, that's really healthy. Um, yeah, this one. Ooh, there it goes. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. It's gonna get used, so that's good, that's good. Don't open it all the way, it comes out fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look, you Where's have the thing? oat bran. Oh, it's over, it's over here. Some alina flour, wheat bran. They have all sorts of things you never thought you'd find. Let's see. We have pastry flour. Fourteen oh six. Pizza crust mix. Panko cornmeal. They have brown sugar. They have dark brown sugar. They have cornstarch. Baking All your sugars. powder. That's a lot of baking powder. Powdered sugar. Oh my mic is Baking cocoa powder, sweet flake coconut. Wow. So on this side, and you have nutritional yeast, you have protein powders. Cereals. You have plant protein right here. Peanut butter powder. <laughs> you have granola. Mm. Frosted wheat, cereals, raisin bran. Here's the spices. Yes. Your beans, you have hibiscus, barley, all types of beans and mm. lentil. So many different and interesting things. Oh, yeah, like all your pastas and rice, rices, too. What's that green thing right there? What's that green? Bamboo, Bamboo rice. rice. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Sugar. This is like your sugar-free chocolate. Fresh roasted coffee. It's oh, that smells so good. It's about eight dollars a pound. Oh my gosh. They have all your flavors. Look. Oh my god. I just all the flavors you need. Oh, I can't tell you how chocolate raspberry. Oh my god. We don't drink coffee Salted really anymore. Butterscotch. No, we don't. Only on vacation. But man. It smells so good here. Vanilla nut cream, sea salt caramel. Oh my, can you, what? Kona blend. Kona, Peru. It smells strong here too. You come it over does. here and you get your grounded up right in here. Get your own, if you don't have a grinder at home. You grind it up right here. 
That is so cool. And your creamers. So your creamers right there. Come here. Fresh ground natural peanut butter is the best. Yep. They have Almond almonds. And they have peanuts. Regular. Yeah. Well, they also have roast honey roasted. And then they got this one, right? Uh, same as this cashew. Is the cashews, yeah. Cashew butter. <laughs> and then they have their oils and honeys. You get your oils down here and your honey up here. Liquid aminos, yeah. we have that. And the is. almond butter is six dollars a pound. The peanut butter is two dollars a pound. That's, wow, that's pretty cheap. That is pretty cheap. Now it's not organic, but because you can tell what's organic here, I think that they do like Costco. They put green things on it. Or maybe I'm, I'm not, actually I'm wrong. I think it would say organic. So I'm pretty yeah. sure it's not organic. But but that's still. I mean that, that that's still better than the yeah. most of the stuff you you find in the I store. I mean, you don't find that in any store. Right? Yeah. Your, your dog treats. Oh yeah, dog treats. Cheese wrap, dog treats. Yeah. I don't Beef see. Wrap. Oh, here's cat food right here. But I don't oh. see cat treats. Here's cat food. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look how expensive baking is now. $40. Yeah. I mean, this is a lot of baking, but $40? It, it, I like to get it like this. Oh, yeah. In the bucha. 10 bucks. Except it's a little discolored. I don't like that that yeah. much. Yeah. Applewood, smoked bacon. That's about $10. Yeah, bacon is, yeah, bacon oh, is we, not forget about going this? down. Yeah, they have like four aisles of these things. They do. Chocolate energy nugget. Eight cents each. That's cheap. What? <laughs> Ooh, dried veggie chip mix. Look how pretty that looks. Ten dollars per pound. So you have your trail mix here. Zebra here. Man, if you guys have ever been to the old spaghetti factory and ever had the Mazepra pasta, you know what's up. And if you know what's up about their bacon and garlic Mazepra, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna go show her. She's gonna be like, what? They have mizithra. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find mizithra cheese? This whole thing is five bucks. Usually like half of this is five or six bucks at Ralph's. That's a big sandwich. Yeah. Just a meal for tonight if you'd like. Chicken carbonara, this is five bucks. Yeah, that'll fill you up for sure. Bunch of little meals. Ooh. Yeah, macaroni, cheese. Turkey breast. Oh, here we go. Sliced monster cheese. How much is this? $4.28. I got these meats. Turkey pastrami. Interesting. So it's turkey, right? But it's pastrami duh, flavored. Huh. Interesting. Oops. Five bucks. Ooh, smoked, smoked gouda. gouda. It looks a gouda. Four bucks. Four bucks for this? It's a gouda. Smoked gouda is not cheap, let me tell you, if you don't go to Costco. Pastrami. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's roast beef. <laughs> Pastrami. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's roast beef. <laughs> oh. mm, corn beef, huh? Corn beef. Nice. Wow. Make corn beef sandwiches. That's nine dollars. And then you have your turkey breast. Mm -hmm. Which Hickory we're smoked. That's five dollars.
Holy crap, that's expensive. $35 for that little bit of crab? Wow. Like, that's barely a meal. That's pretty expensive. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive somewhere else. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seafood aisle. Everybody's over here at the seafood. Yeah. Seafood aisle. Get your seafood. Yeah, it must right. be a good deal because everybody's actually here at the seafood spot. Okay, your Lunchables here. Two twenty-four. Two eighty-one for these bigger ones. These are ninety-nine cents. Now the meat doesn't look um, the greatest. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure the pricing is on point. So I see. Not expensive at all. Here's a ribeye. Oh, that's a little pricey. And they're they're kind of thin. Well. But you know, it's not Walmart meat. <laughs> no, Walmart has the best meat in our opinion. For the price, they have really good meat. I, I haven't had the meat here, so I can't say if it's good or bad, but from what I see, it doesn't look like a high quality meat. <laughs> you have your plant-based meatballs. Ugh. This so, is usually like eight dollars at Ralph's. This must be the other section where there's a little more better quality beef right here. Or they're different cuts, I can't tell. Yeah. No, it's ribeye right there. So yeah, this is different. Rib I think eye. this is from a different meat. You can tell this meat looked a little bit better. The quality looked a little better. Four twenty-eight. We'll grab some. Simply orange. Oh yeah, remember we three, almond milk four was like two dollars cheaper over here too. Oh yeah. So one of these at uh, Ralph's is about seven bucks, almost eight dollars, and you get this whole big thing for four twelve right here. The smaller one is three bucks. Pretty sweet deal if you drink almond breeze. Don't drink soy milk. Eighteen large eggs, four dollars. Found one organic eggs. This is five dollars. This place is huge, guys. Had cleaners had pet food right there. Here's your alcohol, your toiletries, bathroom stuff, kitchen stuff. Over here they have the 50 cent sodas. I remember Walmart used to do the 50 cent sodas like this, but they stopped. Now they do it, it's like 75 cents. And there was a, a person walking out that just bought stuff and she was saying that, she's asking if we're vlogging, because you can see what we're doing. And she's like, yeah, the prices are really cheap here. They're like half price, she knows. <laughs> so, come and get you cheap. Groceries, get your gas money over here. 
Yeah, so you saw what we got on the line. We spent about $92, $92.19. I mean, if we went to Ralph's, if we went to Ralph's, how much do you think we would have spent for oh, that amount? Definitely over 100 bucks. Yeah. So I feel like we saved at least, at least 40, 50 bucks. Come to Winco, come get your cheap groceries. Find your local Winco first because you're usually not right by your house unless no. unless you're lucky. Alright All right, guys, so I'll show you how you can come and shop for groceries and yeah. save lots of money. Unfortunately, yeah. they don't really have organic chicken, not a good selection of water. Mm. And if they do, I saw like one carton of eggs that yeah, organic was eggs. organic. So if you do want organic eggs, you have to come. I would suggest coming early in the morning. And if they don't have it, I'm sure you could probably find someone and ask them. They might have it in the back. Maybe. So yeah, come get your groceries. This is a good deal over here, definitely. Yeah, we love Winko. Yeah. If you know any other store that might be a better deal, leave a comment down below so we can check it out. We'd love to see it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to yes. subscribe and hit yes. that notification bell so you don't miss a thing from us. Yes, yes. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Bye.